Hey guys, Tom coming at y'all with another pier fishing video. It's gonna be a video of a 28 pound king mackerel I caught off Navarre Pier when I was back home in July. If you guys could do me a favor and stick to after this catch, I will go ahead, have an announcement to make, and then I'll also break down my rod, reel, line, um, leader, and bait that I was using and kind of give a breakdown of that for you guys. So please enjoy the video, and if you do like the video, please give it a thumbs up. enjoyed that catch it was definitely one of the highlights of my trip to florida a 28 pound king mackerel is pretty nice size king to catch off the pier and that wasn't even the biggest one I caught that day i think there were a couple over 30 that were caught and there were quite a few other big fish hooked and lost but before we get into the gear and then the announcement i have i would like to give a shout out to colin he's the one who actually filmed this he was out there he works at the pier so you guys have probably seen him if you fish out of navarre <clears throat> But he was the one who pulled out his phone and filmed this one right hooked up on that fish. I honestly, I didn't even take my GoPro out on the pier with me while I was back home in July. <clears throat> I just kind of want to enjoy my vacation, hang out with friends and fish and not worry about filming. So thank you to Colin. He has a YouTube channel, guys. It's Panhandle Pier Fishing. I'll have a link to it in the description below. So if you would, please go give him a sub. Uh, I would really appreciate it. Before we get into the announcement, I'd like to break down the gear real quick. And I've got other videos on my fishing gear and what I use it for, but I was using a Lamy Glass GSB. It's a 10 foot rod, obviously not something you need for King Mackerels. It was just, I like throwing baits on it. It's a really good rod to throw baits on. So had that rod, paired it with a Vanstall 250 with 40 pound Power Pro and a 60 pound seven strand leader. Also guys, if you wanna know how I tie my 60 pound leaders and why I only use 60 pound leader, <clears throat> I'll have a link up above for you guys to go check out a video covering that. But guys, let's get to the, the announcement. So back at the beginning of this year, I did two drops of Kevy jigs and those did really well. Uh, so 
I'm bringing another lure to, well, well, offering another lure for you guys to get off, your hands on. I don't have any merch or anything like that, but I do make lures. And this is something that I want to hopefully in the future, in the next couple years, make this something that I can always have products for you guys if y'all want to pick those up. Um, just right now, work a full-time job. I have a two-year-old daughter, wife, three dogs. Uh, life's pretty busy and I like having my free time and I'm, I like to fish as well. So I'm um, not something that I'm focused on all the time, but I do want to here and there drop lures for you guys to pick up if y'all want to. Guys, the lure that I am going to have available are going to be crippled herrings. Offer two colors. There's going to be a green and a blue back. So guys, before we get in to the actual um, specs on these and everything that I want to talk about, I just want to say, because the reason I'm dropping these right now is because fall time's coming up. And these are one of my favorite lures to fish during the fall time, whether it's for bonitas, king mackerels, Jack Cravel, blackfin tunas, any, I mean, there's so many different fish that you can catch. I mean, you can catch tarpon on these things. You can catch just about anything. I'm gonna have a couple pictures come across the screen so you guys can watch that while I'm talking. So, so guys, these are a very versatile lure. And you can actually, a lot of people just wanna fish these right on top of the water. You don't have to, you can let these sink down and rip them up off the bottom in order to catch Spanish mackerel or even redfish if they're real fired up on baits or if there's a big school coming through. There's so many different things. It's not just a top water lure. I think that's where it is the most successful, but you can also do other things with these lures. And these pictures that I'm having come across, guys, these are just some of the fish um, that I've given to guys. Or I mean, some of the fish have been caught off of these lures and some of them are from lures I've given to friends and things like that. As you guys can see, there's a couple black pin that have been caught off of these things. Um, you can really launch these lures out there, which I think is a very big benefit to reach those fish out a little bit too far off if they're not coming in. A lot of times in the winter, you have bonitas that are just, just out of range and these can actually help you out if you have the right setup to be able to reach them and hopefully hook up on those fish. So if you guys are wondering how these are made, I also have a video on this. I'll have another link up here for you guys to go check that out if you want to. But before you check that out, there are have been a couple changes that I've made to these lures. So I'll talk about the specs on these lures and the changes that I've made and kind of how this has evolved to kind of break down the actual, I guess, specs and equipment used on these lures. So guys, this is not something that I just bought the mold and decided, hey, I'm gonna sell these. This is years of uh, working out the, the kinks and refining these to be the best lure that I can offer. So what I mean by that, guys, is I, I um, bought this mold. I've, been, I've had this mold since, I wanna say 2016 or 17. So I've been fishing these and have given these lures away to friends to fish and really have kind of refined some of those fine details. So I want to show you guys a little bit of what, so from the beginning, I, everything that I used to use on these, kind of going from the paint, the eyes, the epoxy, the split rings and the hooks, everything has been changed out from my first go at doing these. So. We'll start, I guess, from the back. So this is gonna come with a 4 aught BMC 4X strong hook. These things are stout, guys. It's gonna be connected with a 125 pound split ring. With these split rings, this is something that I've actually had, uh, I guess, issues with, I could say. Some companies sell split rings that are rated for a certain poundage that definitely is not that. So I, I spent a lot of money and time going through these. And I bought, you know, I bought packs of a couple hundred of split rings that I thought were going to be good. And I caught fish off of those. And actually one instance with one of my buddies, he hooked a Bonita. He actually foul hooked it. He was fighting him beside the pier and was just dogging him, dogging him, dogging him. 
he ended up catching the fish, but once he got the lure up, the split ring wasn't completely bent out, but it was bent almost to where the hook was gonna come off of that. So I've, you know, gone through, whoops, um, gone through and tried out other split rings and I put these ones to the test. They are awesome split rings. Um, I'm using an epoxy that, that I don't know if anybody, at least nobody that I know is using this type of epoxy. It should be, or it's rated very strong. It's more of a flexible epoxy too. You can't tell that it's flexible, but it, it uh, bends a little bit. I'll give you a hint if you're trying to figure out what kind it is. Um, so this stuff should help with, you know, when you hit it on the pier, whenever it gets ate a few times, um, it should hold up a lot better. Obviously it's not gonna hold up forever and you might hit it just right. It might knock the paint off, but that, that's the thing with these. You honestly, you don't have to have these painted. Um, the, I mean, I've had them to where they've been eaten whenever I was using other epoxies and the paint was completely gone. I was just throwing the lead lure and I was catching fish on it. So don't get discouraged if that happens over time because it's going to happen over time. I'm just being realistic with you guys. So when it comes to the back of this lure, the reason I, I've spent so much time and it's not a ridiculous amount of money, but I've spent my money trying to refine this is because whenever I go to the store and I buy one of these or a diamond jig, something along those lines, one of the first things I do is change out the hook and the split ring just because they don't last. These big companies are throwing trash hooks on these and trash split rings that are just gonna bend out. Um, there's a few companies that are putting good quality products out there. Um, I'm not saying anything about the lure. I think the lures that are made out of these, most of them are really nice, but they should just spend extra money to put on better hardware on these lures. I mean, me personally, that adds an, an extra, you're gonna have to buy a pack of split rings and hooks. That could be an extra five, 10 bucks, depending on what you're spending your money on to get what you want on a lure. So I wanna kinda take that guesswork out of any of this to where you don't have to worry about any of your equipment failing other than once you get to your line and your rod, reel, all that stuff might fail you. But the lure itself, should be almost indestructible is what what i'm going for that's something i want to bring to you guys so whenever i'm building lures whether it's these kobe jigs there's a lot more thought process that goes into it than just building a lure i think i think most people that just get into it at the beginning they just do it and then over time you kind of realize what works and what doesn't work so whenever i'm wrapping kobe jigs i'm wrapping them a specific way to be to work better whether that's throwing them better whether that's working in the water um th there's a lot of thought that goes behind it instead it's not just a pretty face shall i say um which that kind of brings me into another part of these these are all hand-built lures so they're not all going to be the same right so some of them you'll notice that towards the head the paint might be darker it might come down a little bit further on one jig than the other but these are all you know hand painted uh, hand-built lures so they're not going to be all exactly the same so guys i think i've covered most of what i wanted to so let's go ahead and i'm going to tell you the weight on these and then we'll talk about the price and how this is going to work so these are about 3.3 to 3.4 ounces each um so you're gonna be able to throw these on most bigger setups for the pier <clears throat> I've got 25 um, greenbacks and 25 bluebacks completely finished right now. I have others poured and painted and they're in the process, but I just wanna drop these 50 first and see how they how they do before I go out and I finish up all these other stuff, other ones. But if these go out pretty quick, I will go ahead and get those other 50 done and out. And I also have some one ounces that they're, they're a little bit harder to make but I've got those and I might drop those later. But for the time being, I'm gonna have 25 of these and 25 of these. The way these are gonna be sold are gonna be in five packs. So you either get a five pack of greenbacks or a five pack of bluebacks. I'm not mixing the colors just because I don't have that many to mix around. So if somebody wants, you know, three of these and two of these, it's just not gonna even out to where it's at. So at the, for the time being, it's either green or blue-backs. You're gonna be 25 bucks a pack, which I, I feel is reasonable. I did a lot of research on 
the prices of what other people are selling them, what it costs me to build these. And I think that's a very reasonable price because that's going to cover shipping and everything else so you don't have to worry about those extra expenses. So that, I mean, if you look at just lure, that's $5 a lure. These are average between, I'm saying like 8 to even $15 depending on the brand lure and what they're throwing on it. And some of those, you're going to have to still buy a split ring and a hook like I was just saying. So I think this is coming in under what these big stores are offering and in my personal opinion it's just a better product just obviously it's my lure and i've been able to build it my way so i think it that's just a personal opinion <clears throat> anyways guys so like i said 25 dollars for five of these and it's going to cover shipping so you and you guys are really only spending you know three four three and a half four dollars a piece on these lures nothing crazy so if you guys are interested in picking these up, the way this works is you gotta go follow my Facebook page. It's gonna be here, be Pierce the Ponds. I'll have a link to the Facebook page down below. So you guys have pick these up. This video is posted, these are available. So you go on there and you'll just DM me, tell me what color you want, how many packs you want of them, and uh, we'll go through that. And I'll get back to you guys. I'll message you back as quickly as I can. And yeah, that's the way to get a hold of these guys.